The Motoring Tip of the Week is brought to you by Walmart. For everyday low prices on Pennzoil, conventional, and synthetic oils. Our Motoring Tip of the Week concerns cooling systems. Cooling system service and maintenance, the intervals are pretty long. The shortest one you'll find is like two-year intervals, lots are three, and many cars are five-year intervals on servicing the cooling system. In other words, changing, flushing, replacing the coolant. Now there's other things you do to service the cooling system as well. Perfect example, this car right here. This is one of my client's cars. It's an 01 Integra, pretty low kilometers, like 87,000 K. Customer asked me to pick it up and go over the car, give it a once over because they were doing a long road trip with the car this coming weekend. I drove the car from their home back to my shop and during that, that drive, I noticed that the engine temp gauge which is pegged at somewhere around 11 o'clock normally. When I got on the highway and started going at 100K, it was a pretty cool day, and that temp gauge just went progressively lower and lower and lower and lower until it hit rock bottom, the lowest part of the needle pegging the gauge. It was right at rock bottom. Now, that's an indication to me right away that the thermostat is gone in the car. The thermostat's a small, fairly inexpensive component of your cooling system, but very important to its operation. If the thermostat malfunctions, if it sticks closed and doesn't circulate coolant, your engine overheats very quickly. If the thermostat sticks open, which was the case in this 01 Integra, the car overcools at highway speed or on a cold day, you don't get up to operating temperature, you don't get enough heat out of your heater, and you get poor engine efficiency, in other words, poor fuel economy. So this is an important part to service in your cooling system. In any case, time for a flush, new coolant, and a new thermostat. Now this car comes up to temperature very quickly, holds a consistent spot on the temp gauge, produces great heat out of the heater, and it's gonna get better fuel mileage. So it's a win-win situation when you service the cooling system, especially if you've got some problems like this. So keep an eye on your temp gauge, ask your mechanic to check the thermostat when you're winterizing the car. It's an inexpensive part that's very important to the operation of your car, and get that coolant changed at the intervals your manufacturer specifies. That's your motoring tip of the week. 